cruise ship industry is ready to dive back in with ships ready to set sail in the coming weeks. But one major cruise line changed course regarding requirements for passengers to be vaccinated for COVID-19. As Natasha Chen reports, the cruise industry is now entering uncharted waters. The cruise industry is getting ready to set sail once again, but a political storm brewing on land, one between Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and the Centers for Disease Control, suggests it will be anything but smooth sailing. Right now, most cruise lines are advertising new summer sailings with vaccination requirements, but Royal Caribbean abruptly changed course on Friday. Only its ships departing from Seattle and the Bahamas on or before August 1st will require passengers 16 and older to be vaccinated, but no vaccination requirements for its sailings from Texas or Florida. Florida, where businesses can be fined for requiring customers to show proof of vaccination. I was surprised by the blink because I think they're on the better side of it and I think they're better off staying on Team CDC rather than Team DeSantis. Michael Winkleman, a cruise industry expert and maritime lawyer in Miami, says the situation on cruise ships is unique and the CDC is trying to keep people safe. There appear to be you know, a waiting pattern here. Last year, a number of cruise ships remained unable to dock when coronavirus spread through tight quarters. After the CDC issued a no-sail order, ships sat idle for 15 months. Now the CDC has laid out a framework to get them back in motion. Either have trial sailings with volunteers before opening up to paid passengers, or abide by certain restrictions with the most latitude on ships where at least 95% of passengers and crew are vaccinated. DeSantis has sued the CDC over this with no Many end of the legal battle in sight. But just make no mistake about this. Had we not done what we did, and I think a lot of those cruise lines will, would admit this, had we not done what we did by suing, you would not be talking about sailing right now. There's not been a single elected official in this country uh, who's done more uh, to liberate the cruise lines from a bureaucracy that is totally out of touch. In my opinion, this has nothing to do with helping business. It has nothing to do with keeping people safe. It has to do with him playing to a very small but vocal uh, base of his supporters in an effort to win in 2024. Winkleman says DeSantis won't likely win this lawsuit, a sentiment echoed by a Miami Herald op-ed saying the cruise industry wants to go back to work. The CDC isn't the issue here. The badly conceived vaccine passport law is. The politicking and rule changes have left passengers confused, but this travel agent who specializes in cruises says most people hoping to get on a cruise soon are already vaccinated or planning to be before they board. I think people are just so excited. They didn't get to cruise last summer. They didn't get to cruise this winter that they are willing to. Whatever the cruise line needs me to do, I will do it because I want to get on that ship. Mm -hmm. I think coming out of that, mm -hmm. you know, there's a good point that she just raised that so many people are getting vaccinated that it may be a non-issue. But the CDC, man, they've taken a beating. They just, mm -hmm. I feel like can't catch up sometimes. <laughs> One thing or another. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of confusion when it comes out of the CDC because the messaging kind of gets, yeah. I don't know, doesn't translate properly. Uh, it goes back to when they first told us we didn't have to wear masks anymore. And that's when the confusion really started yeah. after the vaccination and it's continued ever since then. But I'm actually for um, CD, uh, for vaccine passports, especially when it comes to traveling overseas or getting on these boats. And I know you can't force anybody to take a vaccine, uh, take the vaccine, but uh, in order to do certain things like going overseas, what do you need if you want to go overseas? You actually yeah. need a passport, right? right. Uh, and in certain places, you actually have to take a shot. You have to get certain vaccines to go over there. And I know those vaccines have been proven or whatever, but so you have to show proof of that. So if you want to get on a boat, if you want to go to certain countries, uh, you need to show proof that you've actually had the vaccine and not just take somebody's word because guess what both the yeah. there are a lot of people that lie yes yes <laughs> you know people. you know i traveled to africa and um you know i had to get quite a few vaccines uh, it was my own choice right um mm -hmm. to protect mm -hmm. myself protect others but i yeah. wasn't sure if i had gotten some vaccines when i was younger on certain ones that that they recommended so i ended up getting a whole bunch of vaccines before i went for my trip i was i was happy to do so yeah. because i was trying to you know protect myself and potentially others mm -hmm. but one thing that i think is interesting is that if we do require that vaccine passport and the only thing i could 
really think of besides folks saying, well, you know, it's my body, which we get, but the mm -hmm. only other thing would be that, Mike, you know, some people have underlying health issues which might prevent them from getting the vaccine. Maybe their doctor doesn't recommend a certain vaccine. And then I think others mm -hmm. will say, when will it stop? So if this is the first vaccine we must do, we have to have this vaccine passport, will it be another one that you have to do that maybe you don't want to do in two years? or three years. Well, I, yeah. I, I think the, the, the answer to that is like you either have a vaccine passport or if you have those underlying health issues where you can't get a certain vaccine, proof of that, and then a sure. negative COVID test. You can still, I mean, so we, we, we can Basically, work. Basically, you got a plan, plan to travel. <laughs> we, we can negotiate. I mean, you know, I, I'm not a Republican. I'm not that far over there that I don't <laughs> want to work. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to meet you in the middle of there, both of them. Well, you know, you know I was playing devil's we, we advocate. I'm thinking type of, things. of what people might say at home, like, you know, I don't want anyone to tell me what to do when to take a vaccine. Here, my kid is, you know, uh, you know, nope. saying, uh, you got to have that passport. It's quite the opposite. I am not telling you what you have to do. I'm telling you if you want to do certain things mm -hmm. that aren't necessarily something that is a must, that is a right. But right. if you want to have this privilege, right. then this is what needs to happen. Just like, you know, there, you, nobody has to tell you to take a drug test. But in order to get certain jobs, you need to take a drug test yeah. in order to get that job. Am I right about that? Yes, so and high school this, athletes. Then this is what you have thing. to do. Yeah, I yeah. remember in high school, mm -hmm. I had to take I had to take, you know, uh, certain vaccines to be able to even show up for practice the first day. So you got a good point. There you know, is. I think we might see it in the future, depending on who wants to take up the um, bureaucracy of creating the, the passport. And I think Congress has a full plate right now.